Hi, I'm Joe Patterson. I'm an orthopedic trauma surgeon. I specialize in taking care of complex fractures of the pelvis, limbs, and joints. Today I'm gonna to talk to you about complex or difficult fractures. Our joints are lined with cartilage, a very smooth tissue that lets the joint roll, glide, and move freely without pain. When a bone cracks and that crack breaks into the cartilage, the joint lining, the edges of each side of the crack may separate and create sharp edges. This is called an interarticular fracture. Those fracture edges can grind up the healthy cartilage in the joint, causing destruction and painful inflammation. The cartilage and the bone beneath it may wear away or die. These processes, called post-traumatic arthritis and avascular necrosis, cause pain, stiffness, and dysfunction of the joint, and may limit the use of the limb or cause disability. My goals are to restore the limb and minimize disability after these types of complex fractures. I treat fractures by positioning and attaching broken bone fragments, realigning the limb, and rebuilding the joint surfaces, usually with the patient's own tissue. I do this with casts or braces without surgery when appropriate. When necessary, I do this with surgery, using a combination of plates, screws, and rods to rebuild the bones and joints, and reconstruct ligaments and tendons as needed. I try to restore motion and permit early use of the limb whenever possible. Some fractures do not heal or heal in a bad position. These problems, called non-unions and malunions, can make a limb painful, difficult to use, or cause the joints to wear out too quickly. I treat these problems by aligning the limb, sometimes cutting and refixing the bones, or adding grafts of bone, and occasionally even lengthening the bone to repair defects and correct any deformity. Recovery can vary for each patient. There's a brief period of rest with early motion of the limb, as much as possible. Some fractured limbs can be used to bear weight immediately, but many must wait six to 12 weeks before the bones are strong enough for full function. Physical and occupational therapy can be very helpful during the rehabilitation time. Many patients continue to improve for months or even years after their treatment begins.